The earth is shaking like crazy right now, in the middle of Wyoming. What the hell is going on? Sir, you called me? Yes, have a seat, Frank. I'd like to discuss our new project, Operation Black Gold. We have gotten the go-ahead from the state of Wyoming to frack for oil in the state. Sounds great, sir, but where were you planning on staging this operation? In the northwest of the state, right about here. Sir, that site would be placed near Yellowstone. So what? Yellowstone is inactive for now, but if it were to erupt, it could possibly take the world out with it. Okay. Why would that impact us? Come on, Josh, you know the risks fracking brings. We wouldn't want to be causing earthquakes near an active volcano. Oh, come on, Frank, that's just a bunch of liberal bullshit. Josh, you remember when you wanted to drill near a Native American reservation? Of course I do. We compensated the folks nearby well for their time and patience. It stimulated the local economy. It did, until one of the largest earthquakes in Arizona state history destroyed the reservation. Look, obviously you don't understand science, Frank. Earthquakes happen in Arizona all the time. It's like tornadoes in Maine or snow in Florida. It's just... It's just commonplace. Josh, this isn't right. I can't let you do this. I'm sorry you feel that way, Frank. But unfortunately for you, I don't care that much. I don't need some nerd telling me what to do. What could go wrong? As of 3.05 local time, seismologists detected extreme activity deep within the Yellowstone caldera. Anyone within a 50-mile radius is politely being asked to go outside and watch this eruption. Trust me, it's really pretty. To help ensure your safety in the event of a volcanic eruption, be sure to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. You will simply be too cool to be affected by the fire. Believe me, I've done this before. Due to the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, the sun has been completely blocked, immediately killing 80% of all life on Earth. For those of you who are left standing, you won't be long. NASA detected a solid, 6-foot-thick slab of volcanic ash, currently closing in on the entire world. We all will quite literally be 6 feet under within a few minutes. Pretty soon we'll all be... A big old pile of 